uh, there's been some scientific research that shows that the Earth's core, the deeper and deeper you go into the center of the Earth, there's a certain point to where the buoyancy inverts, it flips and gets lighter and lighter. And so that's one of the things that Drake is trying to find the answer to is why the center of the Earth is not behaving normal. And recently there's been some articles in Nature and Science magazine that have posed the question, what is going on inside the Earth? Isn't that yeah, right? Yeah, that's basically well, very well said. In fact, I wish I could say it as well as you did. But uh, no, you, you hit the nail on the head. Uh, fly, fly with a fly, fly in the fly eye in to the boot. Eye. So, <laughs> and that's, uh, yeah. That, and, and I think, uh, you know, the funny thing is, is when I thought, well, there might be a super rotation, but then of course that, that law is so famous that this might be, uh, if we don't see any super rotation, then we should realize that this uh, conservation of energy momentum is so much more powerful than what the tensor analysis would say it is. And that's, uh, to a large degree, that really goes a long ways towards explaining the red shift. The more you study it, the more you sit there and say, well, should I look at this part, this part, or this part, or this part more? It's very much like relativity was in, in, in 1905, where you're, you're learning that there's a paradox, you're learning the time slowing, but you're also learning a lot of other things. And this, uh, this inverted physics, I think, is a wealth of untapped mystery that can help solve a lot of problems, particularly dark energy and particularly the red light shift. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's a big deal.